Hi guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to continue and do the second part of the video uh, series which is entitled Pills, Pills and More Pills. Okay. In my last um, video on the subject I bemoaned, I bemoaned the fact that um, we as a profession have um, largely become pill pushers and rather than um, engaging, educating and empowering our patients we tend to give them a bunch of pills and show them the door and unfortunately the problem is that this the burden of pills continues to increase the poor patient does not feel any better uh, and they end up uh, suffering side effects and therefore one of the biggest problems is how do you stop people going on so many pills and actually when people are taking so many pills how do you try and get them off those pills which probably aren't doing them any good and uh, this is incredibly difficult because no one has the time and no one has the courage to turn around and stop pills everyone is happy to prescribe pills and that too largely because we are worried that if we don't give the pills in some way we would be criticized by our peers or in a court of law if something goes wrong and therefore we end up prescribing pills but we are very reluctant to take patients off them uh, and therefore I thought if I did a video whereby I empowered you uh, then you may be able to have a conversation with your doctor and convince him to take you off those pills which are not necessary for you so before I keep going I just wanted to let you know that uh, it is only seven days now uh, before the registration for the Heart Health Seminar in New York uh, finishes. Uh, this seminar is going to happen on the 4th and 5th of August. On the 4th there'll be a series of lectures and a lovely plant-based meal. On the 5th of August there's the opportunity where we can meet and you can have a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. But to do this you have to reserve early and ideally uh, reserve as soon as possible because as I say the closing date is on the 30th of July. Uh, you should visit www.hearthealthweekend.com uh, if you're interested. Let's talk about pills now. So, the first thing to understand is that any medical condition, any medical condition can only do two things. Okay, It's only relevant uh, if it does one of two things to you. In some way, a medical condition could potentially shorten your lifespan or uh, expose you to the risk of something bad happening to you or it affects your quality of life in some way and there are two separate things okay so uh, length of life and quality of life are entirely different and you cannot base one on the other so let me give you an example uh, on migraine migraine makes our quality of life worse but doesn't necessarily have an impact on how long we live on the other hand, a brain tumour, for example, can be completely silent and so you may not even know you had a brain tumour and therefore our quality of life is not affected, but of course a brain tumour may shorten our lifespan. And therefore it is important to understand that these two, separate, these two things are separate. Just because we feel well doesn't necessarily mean we're going to live a long time and just because we don't feel well does not necessarily mean that we're not going to live a normal life expectancy and once we get that once we understand that every condition has to translate into one of these two things or both so you know people worry about cholesterol 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 what is cholesterol we take tablets to lower cholesterol cholesterol is only relevant because in some way cholesterol can increase the risk of something bad happening to us. That's why it's relevant. It's not relevant just because it's cholesterol. Similarly, blood pressure. The blood pressure is just a number. The, the idea behind blood pressure is that if we can, if our blood pressure is uh, very high, then potentially that could in some way affect our lifespan. So any tablet we take has to have one of two benefits. It has to either improve our quality of life or it has to prolong our life. Okay. Um, in terms of cardiac medications, things that are supposedly given to us to prolong our life are things like aspirin. Okay, aspirin isn't supposed to make our quality of life better. It doesn't. It doesn't make our quality of life better. It is simply given because in some way there is some research that aspirin could prolong life. And I'm going to get into that um, uh, as this series continues. Similarly, statins. Statins aren't designed to make us feel better. 
they are given to us because in some way that someone says that they prolong life. Um, things that make us feel better but don't prolong life are diuretics. You know, people who have heart failure go on things like fruzomide or water tablets. Water tablets make us feel better, but they don't prolong our life. So all medications can be divided into either life prolonging medications or medications that improve our quality of life. Or rather than saying that, I should say, medications which are purported to prolong life and medications which are purported to improve quality of life. So the first thing I would recommend is that when you're faced with a bunch of medications, it is always, always worth asking your doctor, which of these tablets are being given to me because they prolong my life or they're supposed to prolong my life? And which of these tablets are given to me because in some way they're improving my quality of life? That's the first step to try and make sense of your tablet. So if you can do that, um, then it becomes a lot easier to work out uh, how to uh, decide which tablets are actually beneficial for you and which tablets are not beneficial for you. Um, so this is a very short video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about those medications which prolong life or which are supposed to prolong life. And uh, I will talk to you about why um, the benefits of such medications are greatly over exaggerated and also how you can decide whether you really are going to benefit from these medications or not. All right, great. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, this is a short video. I will do another video soon. Um, again, if you would like to um, um, uh, speak with me, please consider joining my Facebook page, which is fa um, Your Cardiology One. And also, uh, please come and visit me on my website, which is www.yourcardiology.co.uk. If you find this series interesting, I would love to hear from you. And I'd also be really grateful if you'd consider subscribing to my channel, which is Your Cardiology on YouTube. Thank you so much. All the best.